David Menzies for the Rebel News here in downtown Toronto. Well, <laughs> Remembrance Day 2019 is one many of us will never forget. In addition to honoring the veterans, there was the unbelievable firing of Don Cherry by Sportsnet. And then there was a record for this time of year snowfall in the greater Toronto area. And to complete the hat trick of notables, somebody in the wee hours of the night desecrated the cenotaph that stands behind me right here in front of Old City Hall. Now, what was notable about the graffiti is that it wasn't some kind of an F-bomb or other form of profanity, and nor was it some sort of vulgar symbol such as a swastika. It was a line of text in blue paint that read, Ye Broke Faith. And that would seem to be a direct reference to John McRae's poem in Flanders Fields, If Ye Break Faith With Us Who Die. Now, police and other authorities have no idea who the culprit is, but the fact that this piece of graffiti references in Flanders Fields is, um, makes one raise an eyebrow. Could it be a veteran himself or herself that was responsible uh, for this act. And I say that, folks, because do you remember a couple years ago when um, that veteran at a town hall meeting asked our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau about why the government was doing so little for veterans? Well, in case you've forgotten, check out this clip. You have ISIL or ISIS members coming into a reintegration program. You did a backdoor deal with Omar Qadar with not even stepping into the courtroom. You know, so again, my question is, what veterans were you talking about? Was the ones that fought for the freedoms and values that you so proudly boast about, or was it the ones who fought against? Because honestly, Mr. Prime Minister, I was prepared to be injured in the line of duty when I, went to, when I joined the military. Nobody forced me to join the military. I was prepared to be killed in action. What I wasn't prepared for, Mr. Prime Minister, is Canada have, turning its back on me. So which veteran was it that you were talking about? Why are we still uh, fighting against certain uh, veterans groups in court? Uh, because uh, they're asking for more than we are able to give right now. So maybe was this desecration of the cenotaph some pent-up frustration by a veteran? It could be, and I understand it. I really do, because the veterans have given so much for this country. Some of them return home missing limbs, suffering from PTSD. Some of them don't even return home, and our government says you're asking for too much when they give sometimes everything but by the same token although i understand the rage of so many veterans in our country you cannot condone this kind of vandalism it is just not right to smear a cenotaph yes we should go to bat for our veterans but this is not the way to carry out a message to quote that age-old adage Two wrongs do not make a right. For the Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you're like me, and I would wager millions of other Canadians across our great dominion, you just can't believe that Don Cherry, after almost 40 years, has been fired from Hockey Night in Canada thanks to what some deem to be politically incorrect speech. So if you feel as I do, please go to supportdoncherry.com, supportdoncherry.com, and as soon as we reach a critical mass of signatures, and it's growing every day, I'll deliver this petition personally to the head honchos at Sportsnet.